stop. No, this is my daughter. Put that down. This is my daughter. She's I 14. You that. can't arrest a 14 year old. No, you cannot. Stop. I'm not choking. We often see cops harassing people, but now they've stooped to abusing dogs. In this video, we expose the dark side of law enforcement with a disturbing case where corrupt cops took out their spite on a family and their dog. On June 20th, 2020, Loveland police officers Matt Cycla, Jeremiah Wood, and Evan Dunlap employed excessive force when dealing with a 14-year-old girl who had slapped her boyfriend during a confrontation. The ensuing events were highly disturbing, casting doubt on the commitment of law enforcement officers to their motto of protect and serve. How convenient that the officer had his body cam microphone on mute and then later turned it on. As you can see, the father, John Sears, calmly talks to the officers and then proceeds to call his daughter. She's 14. Yes. That's gross. You had the yes. today we went to over a argument over some belongings, correct? Okay. There's somewhere you want to sit? Or... No. So can you kind of tell me what happened between you guys today? Um, I was asking for my shit back because we got on a breakup because he likes to cheat on me for something like so. I wanted my unicorn back, my lanyard back, my elephant back, and my bike lock key, and my bike lock. And so I only got, and my yeah, dad's bike, uh, or my dad's, dad was it called bungee cord. And I didn't get the bungee cord back, I didn't get my elephant back. I went over there once for the bungee cord, he said he would pay for it. As the daughter emerges to answer the cops' questions, her dad nonchalantly returns to tinkering with his bike. The scene is deceptively calm, but what these officers do next will leave you on the edge of your seat. And he told me to pull the money out of my ass, and I walked away, and then I came back home, and then I was like, okay, I looked at the lanyard to make sure he didn't leave anything on it to make sure he gave me everything. And then I realized there was no elephant on it, so I went back, and then gave me my elephant. As the daughter begins to recount the confrontation with her boyfriend, the officers once again mute their body cam microphones. This blatant misuse of power by law enforcement officers is deeply concerning, but that really wasn't the worst thing they did that day. Stop. No, this is my daughter. Put that down. This is my daughter. She's 14. You can't arrest a 14 year old. No, you cannot. No, you can't. Let me get no. my dog. You are not gonna Let me walk get over. my fucking dog. You are not going to walk He's over. He's going to start fighting everybody. Let me get on the ground. Let me get on the ground. Fucking dog. Get on the ground. I'm not a rich shit. Fuck it. I'm not. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Stay down, don't move! You stay down, don't move! If you get up, you are gonna get tased again! Do you understand me? You stay down! Roll over onto your stomach! I was getting Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Do not move! I won't, sir! I won't! I won't move! With the microphone still silent, one officer arrests the daughter, despite her being just 14. When her father intervenes, he's pushed and tased to the ground. It's a disturbing display of police power gone awry, leaving a young girl screaming for help and her father. Just put my dog away, please. We will take care of your dog. Put your... Please, I don't want you guys to shoot him or anything. We're not going to shoot your dog. God Knock damn it. it. 
You guys, I didn't do shit. I was trying to get my dog so he wouldn't attack you. I've got the male you. in custody. We're still working on the female. Oh my god. We'll take additional units. Ron, did you see that shit? I was trying to get my dog. I need a You guys. You okay? I was trying to help you. The dog you. Are you okay? Ron, can you call Zoe? She's a guy. 970. 970. No. Dude, she's on the ramp. John had his two dogs outside on leashes at the home. One of them, a Jack Russell Terrier, started barking at the officers when they were trying to handcuff the daughter. Meanwhile, John is also placed in handcuffs. One officer holds the leash of the barking dog, which is trying to reach the daughter. Yep. Hey, this drop her down, you drop guys. her down and get on top of her. We you cannot guys. do this. 970-820-7800. Broke out of custody. We're still trying to get around. Dude, just stay away from me, please. Please. Hey, hey, watch out. Guys, put the dog dog's coming out. If you put my dog inside, he will stop. Stop. I'm not choking. Yes, I'm a canine officer, dude. God damn it. Jeez Louise. You're choking my dog. Can you get your feet out of the way? Can you get your feet out of the way? Go up, boys. Go up, boys. Go up, boys. Get back. Get back. Get back. There you go. Dog's in. You're welcome, sir. When the handcuffs proved too large for the girl's wrists, causing her to slip out, the officer had a brilliant idea. He dropped her and sat on top of her. The dog, sensing its owner in distress, broke free and ran towards him, only to be choked by an officer claiming to be a canine handler. You pushed me for no reason. Shut I had no whippets. You are under arrest. For what? Obstructing and resisting I arrest. I obstruct nothing. I was trying to help you. Stop. Jesus. Christ, Stop. get your Roll captain! on your side. Can you please get your captain? Yeah, they're all coming, dude. Thank you. Chill out. Thank you. You're being a real ass to me. I am? I mean, Look at yourself, I was trying bro. to get my dog. You threw me on the ground because I didn't want you guys to hurt my dog or hurt me or hurt my daughter. Okay. Okay. I'm not an ass my record. Stop. Thank you. And you don't have to step on me like that. I'm not stepping on you. You just stepped on my skin. Oh my gosh, get over yourself. I'm not getting over myself. Stop Quit crying. being so rough, man. I'm pulling your probe down. I Chill appreciate out. it. Jesus. Hey, man. I'm like a child. Can I please get up? No. Oh, you're f I can run 820. Oh, I'm sorry, 970. These cops have completely lost it. First, they harass the family and their dog, and then they try to justify arresting the father by claiming he was resisting and obstructing. Jesus. You are ridiculous. You are. Shut the way you just treated me? Spread your feet, and I haven't searched it. I have nothing. My God. Like, I believe you, dude. Yeah, right. That's why you're searching me, right? Yeah, because I don't believe you. Okay. I would like to speak to your chief, You can please. speak to them all. You're not going to speak to please. the chief. I would like to speak chief to your chief, please. doesn't care what you have to say. I did absolutely nothing to you guys. I didn't even threaten you. Okay, well, you're going to go to jail. You. You're going to jail. For what? Obstructing resisting. I didn't obstruct nothing, dude! Car. Oh my god! Can I get my cuffs out, please? Kiro, can you put it on my porch, please? Yes. Yeah, we'll on the porch. Uh, double check those cuffs. I'm not an a you guys. Look at my fucking breath. More cops arrive on the scene, and the daughter and father are placed in separate patrol cars. Despite this, an officer continues to debate with the father, attempting to justify his actions. These are the individuals tasked with keeping us safe and upholding the law. You can release the channel. We're code for Didn't mean to throw that in the trash. The woods glasses are smashed. They haven't got bit by a dog. Talk to that person, see if he's willing to give us a statement. Sure, but 
This tyrannical behavior doesn't stop here. Instead of placing the cap inside the home, the officer callously tosses John's cap into the trash, then picks up the smashed glasses and his taser equipment. The gall of this officer is astounding. He even has the audacity to laugh after treating the poor family in such a manner. We're gonna need to see if that dog's car on rabies. If not, you need to start a rabies regiment. That's a mean yeah, little. Uh, yeah, it was used by him and yeah. the girl. You get so that's why up? I just hear and then I, well, I don't know. It was biting my neck and shit when I was down the stairs. Yeah. So I went to grab her, grab the dog, and then it, I got it. And I, I was holding it and I turned it, nipped yeah. my finger. Oh. And then I, I had it. I reeled him in. <laughs> I thought I'd say he no. drove by the deck. <laughs> okay, we're going in the house. Instead of being concerned about their actions and the family's safety and getting them down to the station, the officers are more concerned if the dog had rabies and their own safety. Thanks, bud. But he yanked away, and then I'm like, get on the ground, and he goes, no, and he goes like this, I'm like, no. The cops are just strolling around, telling the whole story to their buddies and brushing off their uniforms. They sure want to look good while they're out there harassing the people they're supposed to protect and serve. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got it all on camera, so. No, he was mad because we were yeah. going to arrest. Yeah, he's yelling. He's like, he, we, she's you, 14, you can't arrest her. Yeah, yeah. You can't well, arrest her, you can't arrest her. She's been so arrested screen. before. Well, I figured yeah. there's a different story here. And we're like, yeah, we can. We're trying to, like, mellow him out, so that wasn't working. All and right. she was trying to get inside, back inside, yeah. away from us. She, we already came out here earlier and she... she you told her out. she was under arrest and she goes, I'm going to go inside. And you're she like, goes, no. I need to put a tampon on. I, I know. said no. And then she started pulling away from Then you looked at me and I was like, no, no. no. And then well, that's when she Well, because like, he no. started getting upset and that's where I'm like, what exactly would just happen? I'm like, no, it is what it is. So. After completely lying and misrepresenting the entire event, the other cops try to knock some sense into their colleagues, pointing out that the girl is a minor and cannot be arrested. I don't, I don't know where it is. Okay. Probes in them? No, I took the probes out. These are just the wires. We can take the wires off of them. Yeah, Thank you. Probes are out. Um, your, cub, your cubby's hat is down on your porch. Thank you, sir. Do you need anything else? He's just gonna go look for my phone. And okay. That's all I need. You, so we have your wallet. That was in your back pocket. We're not gonna take your lighters with you. Those were in there also. That's fine. Um, you're good with your wallet. That's fine. Okay. I just want to make sure my phone's not outside. You have two dogs inside. Is there anybody else gonna come home tonight to care for the dogs? My wife. I what, hope. What time is she coming home? I don't know. Soon. Okay. She doesn't have a key. Okay. Um, and then lastly, your Jack Russell, the one that was outside, bit two officers. Oh, is I was it trying current? To help you guys. Yes, he is. He's current. On I have all registry. And stuff. I, yes, he has okay. a micro. He's chipped. That's all I want to know. Current with Make his sure rabies. I don't need to get one of my no, officers sir. like started on a rabies. My wife has the scan chip in her in her wallet. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And he's got a microchip in him as well. Okay. Okay. But um, yeah, he's current. I am. And I'm sorry. I was trying to stop my dog from going nuts like that, and I didn't want him to bite anybody. What is your name? My name's John Wayne. John. Okay. Yes, sir. So I'm not going to ask you any questions, but I want to tell you my perspective. And I know you don't remember it, but we all have body-worn cameras. Yeah. You started yelling at the officer, telling that he can't yeah, arrest my daughter. I remember that. And then you started going towards that officer. No, I was going towards my dog. I promise you. But here's John. I promise John. you. John. I would never go after you John. guys. Listen. Okay, you guys serve and protect. Here's, Listen to me. Please. Please. Can you let me speak? And then I'll give you an opportunity. The officers clearly are threatening a scared and worried father, John, after removing him from the car and searching him again. It makes it look bad. And I push you back. And, and you said no. I'm going after my dog. I understand that. But and you're I apologize. I, I, so that's what happened here. And just, if I tell you to get on the ground and you I refuse, did. no, you didn't. I tased you and you fell to the ground. You're right. You're right. So I told you're you like right. three times to get on right. the ground. 
You like, gotta comply, man. I wasn't threatening you guys, so I wanted, I was looking out for yeah. the safety of you guys and my dog. Look, I swear to God. I'm, look, I'm I didn't, a dog, I didn't I'm a dog see guy. that, though, I'll sir. I'll take care of your dog. I didn't see that, okay. sir. I apologize, okay? Regardless if you saw it or not, we I can't know. have you not listen to us. I, I know. Okay, I know. man? I, I, it was frustrating. My 14-year-old daughter, it, it, you got three guys on my daughter. Why didn't you bring a female cop? There was only one. Why did you bring a female? There was three officers here. You, your son, the trainee, and the guy that was training right, them. Right, so there was only one officer But why wasn't daughter. there a female cop for there doesn't her? need to be something. Under pressure and facing threats, the father is coerced into accepting blame, stating that it was his own fault and not the officers who harassed him. This is a clear example of how officers grossly overuse their power. Get your head getting in here. Jack can we just get there fast? Because my I'll do what I can for you. My hands, I have super bad hands. I'll do what I can you guys for think you. I'm full of shit? I had surgery cuffs. twice. I'm one hand and Turn around. Let's just make sure your cuffs are good. So here's the deal. Yep. So I can get a finger underneath that one and a finger underneath that one. So per our policy, they are perfect. We'll get it get you out of them quick, okay? Have a seat, John. Watch your head. I'll meet you there, Eric. He's calmed down, explained everything, yeah. figured it out. So, I'll meet you there. Yeah, for his clearance on, for the taser. That's a male custody on board, sir. I'm going to have to go over to him. Abby 1901. The officer calmly walks back and enters his vehicle completely satisfied with what he has done and disregarding his actions. Officers Wood and Dunlap eventually managed to get the daughter into handcuffs and arrested her for investigation of charges, including harassment, domestic violence, obstruction, and resisting arrest. After the incident, John filed a lawsuit against the city of Loveland regarding the altercation involving his daughter, himself, and their dog. The suit states that the girl suffered cuts, scrapes, bruises, and a concussion during the ordeal. In the lawsuit, John is seeking declaratory and injunctive relief, compensatory, punitive, or exemplary damages, as well as attorney's fees and costs. Loveland City Manager Steve Adams said the city was also releasing its own video from the ordeal, and that while the city initially reviewed and deemed appropriate at the time the actions of the officers, but was now taking a second outside look at the incident in our efforts to ensure we are policing in a respectful and proper manner. It's shocking to think that, even now, these officers might still defend their actions. There's no law that justifies tasing someone for trying to talk to the police or slamming a minor onto the concrete. What are your thoughts on the actions of the Loveland Police Department officers? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Stay tuned for the next installment. It might be right up your alley. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.